This week's INMPI is from Borns. This is actually the first time we've done a Borns INMPI, which is surprising to me. Um, I, I didn't realize that we've, we've never covered them. Um, we do stock their rotary encoders, so I'm excited uh, to bring out a new and fabulous uh, rotary encoder from Borns. This one's going to blow your mind. Okay, let's uh, go to the next slide. Yep. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a dual concentric rotary encoder. Um, this is funky. So you're probably used to you know, normal rotary encoders um, that have like one rotating thing. This has two rotating things, but on one shaft. Um, so this could be like pretty handy if you need like, you know, a, a tight space fit user interface that has a lot of um, control because you can rotate two different rings and also press the button. Uh, so this is called the PEC. 11D, um, if you are familiar with the PEC series, which you probably are, they are you know, kind of the most famous rotary encoders. Um, I don't know if Borns invented them, but they pretty much made them you know, usable. Like their, their standard shape for rotary encoders is what everybody uses. Um, in fact, you know, we stock a uh, rotary encoder uh, from Borns, the, the PEC 11 or PEC 12, um, and this comes with a uh, knob, but this one is only a single rotary encoder. It, rotates once and there's a push button um but you know that i don't know like that's not super cool there's also um we have other kinds of rotary encoders like you know this um this like uh, ipod click type you know basically whenever you want something to rotate all the way around rotary encoders and especially if you want also a button i really like them they're one of my favorite user interface types um i think potentiometers are cool but but rotary encoders can have a very um elegant feel to them. You know, if you have an oscilloscope, there's tons of rotary encoders on it. Um, medical equipment, cars, um, stereo systems, whatever. Every, you know, anything that has adjustments on it um, tends to have a rotary encoder. But let's say you need more than one rotary encoder. Well, um, you can wire up multiples um, next to each other. That's possible. Here's like a demo where I have three rotary encoders wired up, you know, with uh, stomach UT ports, but you can have them next to each other. But you know, let's say you have, you want fine and coarse, um, you know, adjustment capabilities. And sometimes you can use like the knob to select whether you want fine or coarse, but maybe the knob is also used for something else. Or maybe you want, like, there's just two elements that you want to change. Um, I could see like one ring being for bass and one for treble, but you want it to be in one knob. Well, the party is here and it's rocking thanks to the 11D. So you can see there's the, um, the shaft, that's one encoder, and then the, the brassy thing is a second encoder. And then it, you, know, you can also press it to, um, there's a detent button inside. Um, I will say that you do need a custom knob for this, obviously, because you want to have like the outer ring kind of latch onto the, that little divot there the, in the brass knob. There's, there's like a little slot, and you want to, whatever knob you design, or, sorry, there's, there's two slots on each side. You want your knob to slot into that to grab in so you can have both rotate separately. This doesn't come with a knob, but if you're designing this into your product, chances are, you know, you're gonna do injection molding anyways. So I thought I'd show a quick demo and then we would show that it's in stock. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so this is the PEC 11D. You can see I've got it wired up to a feather with a little OLED. Um, I didn't wire up the button, so you're just gonna have to believe me. I wanted to, to just show the, the rotary encoder, but you know, you can um, press it, and it is a, a tactile switch. So it goes up and down. There is 15 um, detents per rotation. And then if I grab this outer part and I rotate it, it rotates totally separately from the inner part. So dual concentric rotary encoders, very neat. Um, but it works just like a rotary encoder you expect. You know, I just coded up with an Arduino demo, had the OLED going out. Uh, it took me like only 15 minutes um, to put this together because it's, uh, it's like a standard rotary encoder, one on this side and one on that side. All right, and on DigiKey, 80 in stock right now. Get them while you can. That's right, they are in stock. You can actually get these. Um, these are really funky. I've never seen dual rotary encoders before. Um, I don't know when I'd use them, but like if you need this, this is exactly like this can totally solve a problem that you have. Um, so yeah, check it yeah. out. Hi, I'm MPI.